That means you have the flash on all the time. Watch them soak it in. It looks like a typical classroom. There is a demonstration. There is learning. Go ahead. It's not the classroom that is unique, it is the pupils, and it is what they are learning and why. You see, these kids come from tough homes, where life has been a series of challenges most people will never comprehend. Enter a program specific to them called Free Arts. The mission of Free Arts is to help kids that are struggling with a lot of problems. Um, and we bring them two things. We bring them access to the arts, and we bring them mentors. And we think that's a really powerful combination. And these lives need something good. In this program, it's not about structure. It's about motivating them to let loose, to see what they want to see, and to find out how they see it. It's been really awesome to just give kids an outlet to be kids creatively. And so um, a lot of the times, these kids just don't get the opportunity to just you know, not think about some of the um, experiences they're having at home or at school and they get to just think about what do I want to do at this point with my, you know, camera or with my crayon or with my pencil. When you tell someone there is no right or wrong answer, it's up to you, there is an empowerment and freedom that some in this group have never known. Suddenly it's about their world and how they see it. When that flows, so too do the ideas, the fascination. That we just get to do a lot of different things and we don't really have a limit to what we have to take a picture of or do. We just do it. It's not just a camera or a crayon or a paintbrush. They have the guidance of one of the premier artists to guide them. Everyone is creative um, and it just needs to be unlocked and I think it needs to be free. And so I don't give instructions on you know, composition specifically. I think, uh, I think it's intuitive. He understands what can be done when the mind is free, when you are allowed to create, when your personality comes out. It is a liberating process. I like taking pictures of people because I think it, I enjoy it. Yeah? What do you like to see after you take the picture? How they smile and stuff. Do you try to get them to smile when you take the picture? Not necessarily. Or like, I like to get them as surprised. And they have a goal see their favorite piece will be displayed at the Minneapolis Institute of Arts. It does for them what it would do for any of us. It's a huge boost in self-esteem and self-confidence. Uh, first of all, you know, when they found out they were working with Wing Young Huey, uh, I, many of them, of course, right away, they Googled him, oh my God, this guy is a famous artist and he's done all these amazing things in this community. We're gonna work with him. Start over here, start over here. So they tinker, they explore, they find out. It is an education without even understanding self-exploration. And the uh, shadow of the ball. But once they got into it and they started photographing, I showed them some simple techniques like panning or how to use the flash. Then um, they really got into it and they started photographing each other, giving instructions. Let's just give them a hand for their amazing work. Finally, they get a big day to see their work on the walls of a museum reserved for the appreciated. It's a big deal. And it's another step in building what this is all about, self-esteem. Well, I've seen kids pick up, you know, materials like an oil pastel, and they don't know what it is. They've never had an opportunity to use it. Um, there's been times where we've been able to give away um, art supplies to kids, and you can tell they treasure those. On this day, you can see art and creativity on the walls. And in the faces of the artists, you can see they have achieved. They are proud. It's my name spelled out in a poem. It says, talented, inspirational, achieving, ridiculous, and amazing. And it's some of the character traits that people have described me as, but also how I see myself. The things that I, w that I have learned over the class was how to be patient, how to be creative, being your and being yourself. They gather to look, to feel that sense of accomplishment that can be measured in something tangible, something that hangs in front of them. It is their creation, it is the way they see the world, and that's okay. Well, it's amazing how kids are open to art in a way that we as adults sometimes aren't, but um, I think it's a pretty natural thing for them. The faces tell the story. And while the kids might think it's about the end result, it is about the process that has changed the way they think of what is possible, what is attainable, what is maybe for the first time in their lives a sign that there is hope 
and that is by itself a major victory. It's exciting. I want to just jump out of my body like, oh my God, my photograph's here. Life to the Max is brought to you by Life Touch, photography for a lifetime.